I believe the Ten Commandments is the basis for the founding of this country. And we don't need to get away from that. Hi there, Pastor Terry. Can I, can I cut in for a sec? Commandment number one. You shall have no other gods before me. Well, we have freedom of religion around here, so... No, that one doesn't count. Number two. You shall not make your, for yourself any carved images or likeness of anything that is in the heaven above. No, that's, that, that's nowhere in the Constitution. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Well, God damn it, that one's not in the Constitution either. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. I do all kinds of shit on Saturday and Sunday. I don't give a fuck. And that's also not in the Constitution. Commandment number five. Honor your father and your mother. Well, it's a nice thing to do, but not in the Constitution. Six, you shall not murder. Finally! Oh, I thought we were going to have a no-hitter there. Yeah, that one, that one's that, that one's in our laws. You can't kill people. Well, the state can kill people when they want to kill people, but civilians can't kill people, so it's, so it's, it's in there. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Number eight, you shall not steal. Yeah, that's usually a law, so you got, you got two there. Number nine, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. That one's kind of iffy. It's when you're you're not supposed to lie in court, but you can always say they did something they did, didn't actually do, and people get in trouble. So, it, no, we'll go ahead and give it, give give that to you. That's fine. Just like let's just say two and a half. Let's. Get that there. Commandment number ten, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, your neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is your neighbor's. That, that's, that's not in there either, Pastor Terry, so you have two and a half out of ten. So, valiant effort, but no. But hey! Hey, let's go further. Let's let's see what the Founding Fathers had to say about religion. The 1796 Treaty with Tripoli states that the United States was not in any sense founded on the Christian religion. Thomas Jefferson was actually a rationalist. He liked what Jesus' teachings were, but he did not think any of it was divinely inspired. In fact, he went through his Bible with his razor blade and cut out everything that had to do with the virgin birth, him performing miracles, all that good stuff, and just left the basic moral teachings, and he released it, and he dubbed it the Jefferson Bible. So, yeah. Needless to say, this was a far, far shorter book. And of course, Benjamin Franklin was quoted as saying, lighthouses are more helpful than churches. And the way to see by faith is to shut the eye of reason. Moving on to George Washington. He is not considered a Christian, but a deist. In fact, most of the Founding Fathers, if looked upon, would consider themselves deist in that they did not follow the Christian doctrine or any other religious doctrine. They didn't have the nice little bits of science we have now to better explain the world. But they knew enough to where they were like, uh, let's distance ourselves from that, because that looks like a pile of shit. John Adams said, this would be the best of all possible worlds if there were no religion in it. And ain't that the truth? Thomas Paine said, <laughs> I really, really like this one. What is it the New Testament teaches us? To believe that the Almighty committed debauchery where the woman engaged to be married, and the belief of this debauchery is called faith. He also said, All national institutions of churches, whether Jewish, Christian, or Turkish, appear to me no, oth no other than human inventions, set up to terrify and enslave mankind, and monopolize power and profit. Also, the study of theology as it stands in the Christian churches is the study of nothing, it is founded on nothing, it rests on no principles, 
It proceeds by no authority and it has no data. It can demonstrate nothing and it admits of no conclusion. So yeah, Pastor Terry, nice try, but no cigar. Fox Gear 92.